The Legion series is known for its budget-friendly gaming laptops. With the Wi-Fi 40 released in 2019, Lenovo hopes to take it a step further by bringing drastic design changes as compared to its previous gaming lineups. What does the Legion Wi-Fi 40 bring to the table? And is it suitable for your needs? We're about to find out. Lenovo has done a remarkable job with the design of the Legion Wi-Fi 40 by keeping the gamer aesthetics to a minimum and focusing on an understated look. The Wi-Fi 40's looks can be described as a sleek powerhouse. There are no extravagant red or blue accents, no transformer-like edges, and no extra LED than what's necessary. The Legion Wi-Fi 40 has an absolutely beautiful, bezel-less screen that gives a modern touch to it. The 15.6 inches 1080p IPS panel is easy on the eyes and is fairly bright at up to 250 to 300 nits. The colors look vibrant and sharp on this anti-glare, non-touch panel which supports 72% of the sRGB color space. This particular model has a refresh rate of 60Hz while there are other versions with panels that can go up to 144. We would recommend that you grab the 144Hz panel for a better gaming experience. However, this bezel-less look comes at a cost. The webcam is now placed at the bottom making it quite challenging for video conferencing. But that is the kind of sacrifice you have to make if you want to achieve this near bezel-free look. The Legion is mainly made of polycarbonate and sports a textured lid with the word Legion engraved on the hood. The hinge design is pretty robust, allowing the lid to be opened with only one finger. The section where you rest your hand is made of a smooth and soft plastic that feels very comfortable. The lack of aluminium on the device, however, does remind us that this is an entry-level gaming machine. But make no mistake, it doesn't sacrifice its build quality to achieve that. The speakers on this device are tuned by Harman Kardon and are surprisingly impressive. One common factor of laptops is that they have an underwhelming performance when it comes to the base. This one is no exception to that rule. That being said, you can still enjoy some very good audio on this device. Here, have a listen to this small sound sample. The keyboard is another area where the Lenovo Wi-Fi 40 is different from the rest. While the keys are quite comfortable to type on, the layout certainly takes some getting used to. Lenovo has shifted the numpad right above the arrow keys, making the device footprint a lot smaller, but it will certainly take a couple of days to get used to. The keys are backlit and have two levels of brightness, excluding being turned off completely. The trackpad has a smooth texture, better than a lot of other gaming devices we have used in the past. However, it's still not on the level of the MacBook series. But then again, no other devices in the Windows category are. The right and left click buttons are tactile and separated from the trackpad, which we think is a good move. Let's now take a look at the internals. To open the device, the whole back panel must come off. Although it is not as difficult to remove the panel, we could hear some creaking noises while taking it off, and that obviously can worry the user while upgrading the laptop. Regardless, the device is still very easy to upgrade. The RAM is hidden underneath a thin metal cover, while the SSD, HDD, battery, Wi-Fi module and heat pipes are clearly accessible. The vent pipes point backwards and to the sides, which is a very good design from the thermal perspective of the laptop and should help in keeping thermal throttling in check. During our testing, temperatures were quite stable at 40 degrees Celsius under normal load, while increasing to around 54 degrees Celsius under heavier loads. It can be noted that the wrist area remained one of the cooler portions of the laptop during testing. The fan noise as well was commendable at 36 dB under normal conditions and 45 under duress. 
The battery unit is rated at 57 watt hour, which is not perfect, but it should give you around 3 hours of battery autonomy while working normally. Now moving on to the specifications, this particular model that we are reviewing comes with a 9th generation Core i7 2.6 GHz CPU, 16 GB of DDR4 memory, a 1 TB 7200 RPM hard disk, and an NVIDIA GTX 1650 4GB graphics card. To test the performance of the Legion Wi-Fi 40, we use two different benchmarking softwares, namely the User Benchmark and the Unigine Superposition tool. User Benchmark helps us evaluate the performance of the workstation by comparing and ranking the internals of the laptop against what is currently available on the market and in other users' builds while the Unigine Superposition helps us weigh the actual graphical performance of the laptop by simulating and rendering a game environment in real time. On Unigine Superposition, the Lenovo Wi-Fi 40 scores 4820 at 1080p using high graphics settings. While this is a reasonable score for a laptop, it should be noted that on higher settings, the Wi-Fi 40 will tend to struggle to keep up. However, for 1080p gaming, you should be getting around 40 to 50 FPS on modern day titles. In user benchmark, the Wi-Fi 40 scores 94% in the desktop category, 72% in the workstation category, and 46% in the gaming category. All of this only suggests that while for processor intensive tasks, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 comes out on top, for graphic intensive duties, it will tend to suffer. The Wi-Fi 40 was launched at $1,260. Right now, this device can be bought for even less, around $1,030 on Amazon. If you're interested in the Legion Wi-Fi 40, we will leave a link in the description so you can grab it while also helping out the channel. Well, in conclusion to this review, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is a great budget powerhouse that offers great 1080p gaming, sports a modern design and can crunch CPU intensive applications relatively easily. We would recommend this laptop to casual or budget gamers who are also looking for a device to carry to work and to students or researchers looking for a device that will help them both run applications like MATLAB or SOLIDWORKS while staying in budget. So thanks a lot guys for watching this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We will catch you in the next one. In the meantime, keep dialing pixels.